Florida State season's not over. Let me be very clear on that. And this is going to be a very quick video because this is just a quick reaction to a week zero game as I prepare for the Thursday night game with North Dakota State. And also go check out my week one preview video. It will be out tomorrow morning. You guys are seeing this Sunday night. Uh, I appreciate all the new people around here to rush the field. Just quick promo, you know, listen, all I'm ever going to ask from you is to talk more football with me, interact with the channel, like, comment, subscribe, whatever it may be. Let's talk about Florida State. Obviously, shout out to Georgia Tech. As someone that is wearing a Texas A&M shirt, happy for Haynes King, happy for Chase Lane, Tyler Santucci, the defensive coordinator. It is fantastic. And Georgia Tech, I'm so excited for what their season is going to be. And in my preview video, I was honestly scared to pick them, but I saw the path for the upset. I, I lined it out. I said if they were going to mitigate the defensive line, if they were going to you know, be able to have more of an identity and continuity across the board, that the Florida State offense is what's going to hold them back. Let's talk about DJU because everyone's going to talk about the first, the, the graphic about the negative 0.1 air yards. They're going to talk about the second half where he was pushing the ball downfield. The overall problem with Florida State, and I identified this before we went into the season, was they are going to have a pretty good running game. I think Roy Dell Williams, I think Toa Feely are going to be a great tandem, and that's the baseline of their offense. But their passing offense, I had red flags for when we're talking about the NFL draft because I thought it was very simplistic. And I thought the athletes on that team is what elevated it to another level. I thought it was just for a college football offense, very simple. And when you watch guys like Keon Coleman, they made, you know, lemonades out of lemon or like, you know, Jordan Travis just took it to another level. I didn't think DJU was going to do that. Not to say they didn't have any playmakers on the offense, but like I just didn't think the scheme was going to put them into the best positions to win football games. Now that could easily change this upcoming year, right? Like there's such a long season in front of them, but Florida State in general is going to be walking such a tight rope in order for them to make the college football playoff. Their season's not over, but they are going to be walking a fine line of 11 to 1, 10 and 2, and just looking for a puncher's chance in the ACC title game or just getting a really solid second place and then getting an at large bid. Because if they get third place, I think they're out of it. Now it is more on the pressure of Clemson and Miami to step up and potentially kick Florida State out. And it's so frustrating coming from someone that defended Florida State. Mind you, the, the college football playoff, that decision to keep Florida State out does not mean that anything has changed from that decision. Your opinion should not change based off the Georgia game and the Georgia Tech game. But damn it, is it funny that Florida State complained for so long, months on end, for this to be the result of their Week 0 game in Dublin, Ireland against Georgia Tech, especially that's a Georgia school, especially that we had such a prolonged time. There was moments where you had freshman cornerbacks staring at the Georgia Tech bus. You had the announcers talking about how Florida State came more prepared, more focused. They seem more energized than Georgia Tech, and Georgia Tech wins the game. I mean, genuinely, God damn it, how can you not be romantic about college football? That is hilarious. And by no means is Florida State season over, and Georgia Tech's just begun, but you have to talk about how DJU, they do not trust him. They do not trust opening up the playbook. This was not a game, and I know Florida State knows this, and I know Mike Norvell knows this, that that was not a game you wanted to mess around in. That was not a game you just wanted to let it go to a couple plays that could have gone your way to dictate that game. Think of the two fumbled snaps. Think of the major hit on the punt return. If any of those had turned into real turnovers into Florida State's favor, they were in a prime position to win that game, but the what I saw on Twitter, the padlock stat, the stat that I think defines this game was the fact that Florida State in the last, I think, 21 minutes had one drive on the offensive side of the ball because they were getting dominated on prolonged drives by Georgia Tech because they could not get them off the field because the offensive line for Georgia Tech was dominating them. Credit to them because there's like three NFL prospects on that defensive line that were getting shoved around to finish the game and put Georgia Tech in the best position to win a football game. Haynes King was not perfect but he made just enough plays, more plays than DJU did. And mind you, DJU played fantastic in the last drive. Let's not forget about that. But it's the fact that you really did feel through that television screen that Florida State did not trust DJU to consistently push the ball downfield. And it could also be blamed that the wide receivers maybe were not getting enough separation. There is a cornerback for Georgia Tech that was making consistent plays. I 
am not going to say Florida State season is over, but damn it, are they playing such a fine line for the rest of the season? And with that schedule, I don't think they make the college football playoff. So with that being said, that's a reaction video. Uh, first one of the season, folks, we got one and I am in a fantasy football draft right now. So if you see me looking down, that is why. But thank you so much for watching Rush the Field. Like I said at the beginning of the video, all I'm looking for is an opportunity to talk football with you, whether that's a like, comment, subscribe, whatever it may be. Any support genuinely means the world to me. We just got this season started. So let's keep the ball rolling.